In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to create this eye catching text ribbon animation inside After Effects. It's simple, it's fun, and you'll be able to use it for intros, titles, or even social media posts to grab attention instantly. Stick around till the end because I'll also share a cool trick to make your ribbon look like a woven thread, adding real depth and style. Let's dive in. Open After Effects and begin by creating a new composition, which we will name Text Ribbon. I'm working with a full HD resolution white screen, but if you want to create this for vertical content, simply choose the preset that fits your project and everything else can remain the same before pressing. OK, the first step is to select the text tool. I'm using the Poppins font, but you can choose any font that matches your style. Click anywhere in the composition window and type out your text. Then adjust the font size and align it properly to the center of the screen so it looks balanced. To create the ribbon effect, we need repeating text. So move to the end of the text layer and add a space. Copy it and paste it three more times so that the words appear in a continuous loop without empty gaps. Position the text carefully so that the first part of the phrase is visible at the start. When this is complete, select the text layer, go up to the Tools panel and choose the Pen tool. Now create a path that flows around your text and imagine it as a guiding line for how your ribbon will move across the screen. In my case, the path begins from outside the composition frame and also ends outside the frame. While drawing the path, make sure to keep it smooth and flowing with natural curves. Once you are happy with the path, go to your text layer and open its options. Under the text section, you will find the path options. Open this menu and then set the path to mask one, which is the mask we just created. You will immediately see your text following along the drawn path. If you feel that the shape could be improved, you can always adjust and refine the mask to achieve a more elegant movement. When you are satisfied, minimize the text layer to keep the timeline organized and rename this text layer as text 01 for clarity. After that, make sure no layer is selected, then head back to the Tools panel and pick the Pen tool again. Make sure that the fill for the shape layer is set to None, and the stroke is set to a gradient color so that it resembles a ribbon. For the gradient style, I am using a linear gradient, and I have chosen my own set of colors for the ribbon. The stroke width is set to 200 pixels, which gives the ribbon a bold and noticeable look. Once this is set, zoom out slightly and draw a simple path using the pen tool. At this point, it does not need to perfectly match the earlier text path because we will simply copy and paste the previous path to ensure alignment. And then position this shape layer directly beneath the text layer in the timeline. Select the text layer and press the M key to reveal the mask options. Then open the shape layer and go to the content section where you will find path 1. Expand it and you will notice the parent and link icon. If you do not see this icon, right click in the columns area and enable the parent and link option. Finally, grab the pick whip from path 1 and connect it to the mask path of text 01. Sometimes it may not appear right away. To fix this, press P to open the position property of the shape layer and then parent the position of the shape to the text position. Once this is done, you should be able to see the shape layer following the same placement as the text. Next, we also need to connect the anchor point so both layers share the same anchor point and the same position, which keeps them aligned properly. Now the text sits neatly inside the ribbon, which is exactly what we want. To refine the look, let's adjust the ribbon color. Select the shape layer and go to the stroke options. Inside gradient stroke, adjust the start point and end point values until the gradient appears clearly. You can experiment with the colors for different effects, but I am happy with this gradient look. One more thing to notice is that the text is not perfectly centered within the ribbon, so we need to correct it. Select the text layer, go to the character window, and adjust the baseline shift by setting it to a negative value such as minus 13 until the text aligns correctly. If you want, you can also turn on all caps for a stronger design, but I will leave it off in this case. Now let's make the text more prominent by increasing the font size to around 84 pixels and also readjusting the baseline so that it remains perfectly centered within the ribbon. The next step is to bring the ribbon to life by adding animation. To keep the workspace organized, minimize all layers, then open the text layer and go into the path options where you will find the property called first margin. 
This is the setting we will animate in order to create continuous movement across the ribbon. You can either do this manually by adding keyframes or make the process automatic using an expression. I prefer the expression method, so add an expression to the first margin and type in time multiplied by 200, creating a smooth motion of the text along the ribbon path. Once applied, you will see the animation running automatically. Depending on your project, you might feel the speed is too fast or too slow. To adjust it, simply replace 200 with a smaller value such as 100 for a slower pace or increase the number if you want it to move more quickly. Now let's tidy up the timeline by minimizing all layers to create some extra space. We will also rename the shape layer to ribbon so that everything stays properly organized. Ideally, this should have been done at the start, but it is never too late to make your project clean and easy to navigate. Once renamed, select both the text layer and the ribbon layer, right click and choose Pre-Compose. I am naming this new composition Text Ribbon 01. Go to the project window, select the newly created composition and make a duplicate of it. Drag the duplicate into the main composition and open it to make some changes. To easily differentiate it from the first one, let us change the ribbon color to something different. Next, modify the path for variety. Select the text layer, go into the path options and adjust the mask so that it follows a new curve. There is no need to create anything too complex. A simple variation will be enough to make it look distinct from the previous design. Once the path is updated, I will also change the text content to a new phrase. Add your new text here. And now this becomes the second version of the text ribbon. The look is different yet still consistent with the overall style and I really like how it has turned out. Now press the E key twice quickly to reveal all the expressions applied to the layer. In the first margin expression, simply add a negative sign in front of the 200. This small change will invert the direction of the animation and the text will now flow in the opposite way. It is a very simple trick, but very effective. Switch back to the main timeline to preview the result. You can clearly see the difference and it looks quite good. Remember that you can always experiment with your own style because I am just showing you one approach and you are free to shape it the way you want. Next, let's work on giving it a thread-like appearance where some parts of the ribbon appear above while others go below. To achieve this effect, we will use 3D layers. If the 3D switch is not visible in your timeline, right-click in the columns area and enable switches. Once visible, enable the 3D option for both ribbon compositions. Then press R to open the rotation settings. On the second text ribbon composition, adjust the X rotation slightly by setting it to a value of 1. This small tweak is enough to create the illusion of depth, making the two ribbons overlap in a way that resembles a woven thread. If you look closely at the middle section, you will notice that both layers overlap and this creates a slight glitch effect, which does not look clean. This issue can be fixed very easily by dragging one of the layers slightly to the right or to the left so that they no longer intersect at the same points. Once you make this adjustment, the overlapping problem will be resolved and the animation will appear smooth and professional. With this final fix, the design is complete and everything looks the way we wanted. Thank you for following along with this tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you. I will see you in the next one. Until then, good luck and peace.